Have you ever really, truly had the full be-all end-all Costco experience if you've never ordered one of the chain's iconic food court hot dogs? Here's everything you need to know about the $1.50 snack. The warehouse retailer built its cult-like following by selling high-quality products at low prices. And perhaps the most quintessential example of that business model is Costco's Kirkland Signature Hot Dogs. You can buy the famous Franks in huge packs in the meat section, or as already mentioned, famously grab one with a steamed bun and a soda at the food court for $1.50. It's a price that's set in stone, thanks to founder Jim Sinegal. At one point, there's a story where uh, the co-founder told uh, the CEO to never change the price. According to a report from Insider, that's a tame version of what Senegal told CEO Craig Jelinek. Jelinek told the audience at a Chamber of Commerce luncheon that Senegal's exact words were, if you raise the effing hot dog, I will kill you. Figure it out. So what's the secret to the flavor and price of the famous Costco hot dogs? Well, Costco makes the dogs themselves at their own Kirkland meat processing factories, which keeps costs down and allows them to maintain taste and quality year after year. While a lot of Costco's private label products are made by other brands and packaged with in-house labeling, Costco also maintains its own food manufacturing supply chain for products that are bestsellers. Even though it's a fun game for shoppers to guess which big company makes a certain product, when it comes to the signature hot dog, it's a total in-house operation. It's understandable that if you've never had a hot dog at Costco, you might not get what all the hype is about. But as any Frank lover knows, not all dogs are created equal. The Kirkland dogs are made with 100% USDA inspected beef and contain no fillers, byproducts, or corn syrup. The hot dogs in question are also comparatively huge clocking in at almost four ounces each. Plus, the hot dogs are bun-length, so you'll get a bite of meat with every bite of bread. Indeed, Costco's hot dogs are so popular that according to Business Insider, the company sold 151 million of them in 2019 alone. And that number only counts the hot dogs sold in Costco food courts, not in retail packages at Costco warehouses. That's $226.5 million in revenue just in hot dogs for a single year. As previously mentioned, a lot of Costco's Kirkland products are made by other larger companies. And for a long time, the company's hot dogs were made by Hebrew National, although they were sold under their brand name. As you may have already guessed, that's not the case anymore. So what exactly changed and how and why? According to Costco Connection, the company's in-house magazine, Hebrew National was the go-to choice for Costco's food court hot dogs from the time the company started selling them in 1984 until 2008. However, as Costco grew, kosher meat suppliers decreased in number, and the price of Hebrew National's products went up accordingly. As a solution, the company then made the executive decision to make its own dogs in order to keep costs down. In order to do this in a cost-effective manner, Costco bought a meat processing factory in California. And in short, the gamble looks like it paid off. Costco now operates multiple meat processing facilities in the U.S., where in addition to hot dogs, they make a number of other products, including raw and cooked hamburger patties, meatballs, and other meat department favorites. As this meat-related production and expansion would suggest, Costco's hot dogs have only grown in popularity since the switch, along with a slew of loyal, die-hard fans. As one fan on Reddit claimed, I'm now a hot dog snob because of them. No ballpark or Oscar Mayer for me. I want those Kirkland hot dogs. Now that you know all about what goes into the famous Franks, grab a jumbo pack for your next backyard party and be a barbecue hero or reward yourself and stop by the food court on your next trip to the warehouse retailer for a taste. After all, they'll always be $1.50.